Cadence of Conflict, Asia, February 27, 2017. Americans love flags. The oversized flag, the Star Spangled Banner, was a strategic tool of Fort McHenry at the Battle of Baltimore, and the U.S. national anthem itself is named after the flag. If the United States ever truly intended to communicate that it believes Beijing seats the rightful government over the island of Taiwan, then Washington, D.C. would have demanded that Taiwan fly the Chinese communist flag over its own, like Hong Kong does. But it didn't, and they didn't ask. The test of what Donald Trump thinks about China is not a question of how many times he sees the word China on his globe at home, but what flags he accepts flown where. Is China wise to what's going on? Perhaps money is making all the difference. China's PLA Navy is headed for an increased budget. If money was China's answer, perhaps money tipped off Beijing in the first place. According to Obama Treasury rules, China is only one-third of a currency manipulator, quote-unquote, exceeding a $20 billion trade deficit with the states. The other two rules relate to inflation to GDP and official currency purchases to GDP, two things where China plays by a different set of rules than American economics. China declares its own currency value. It is not determined by the markets, making what the U.S. refers to as inflation irrelevant to China. The second irrelevant Obama rule relates to official currency purchases. If only economics were only affected by official, quote-unquote, purchases, many other economic problems would be solved. But economics are affected by actual purchasing, not merely whatever we happen to label as official this decade. The Chinese, especially, are experts at looking good officially, while doing the bulk of their work under the table. Why else would Asians be so focused on cram schools and testing? Then, there is the task of calculating GDP in a heavy back-and-forth trade economy. In 2011, the U.S. slapped tariffs on China-made solar panels, which were made with materials imported from the U.S., which China also slapped a tariff on. Not only is actual domestic product difficult to measure in a Venn diagram of overlapping markets, there is also the problem that China's government behaves like a company itself, benefiting from tariff revenue, thereby triggering another slew of investing and purchasing opportunities. If economics were a pair of glasses, China operates in ultraviolet light that no pair of U.S. lenses can detect. So... Not only were the Obama Treasury currency manipulator rules an attempt to measure light with a wind sensor, Trump gets what Trump wants. If China is destined for the currency manipulator list, it will get on that list one way or another, and there is a huge laundry list of ways that can happen. But then there's North Korea, while the experts lecture the world about how trade wars always backfire, China harbors its own trade war with the government in Northern Korea. Kim Jong-un isn't happy with Beijing, and Beijing wants to talk about it with the U.S. And that is the cadence of the conflict already seen in the Pacific.